Hey future Britsters Inc. subscriber, hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up and let's get into the video about how to do turbans. Okay, what's up YouTube? It's Brittany Chanel. So I'm just opening up my mail and just got some stuff from her jobs and stuff. This is their business card and Facebook and just got some different pattern head wraps. Because I'm a girl that likes to wear head wraps. So this is the off-white floral, I believe. And this is a part of their, these are part, this is their new chocolate crinkled texture, which I love this texture. I might be getting more colors. But it was like back to school, 20% off. So I think these were all $13.99. But this is like beautiful. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to wrap your head wraps different ways. Because some of my subscribers have been like, Brittany Chanel, how do you wear your wraps and different stuff? So different ways on how to wear a head wrap or, you know, some people call it the hijab. Even though I'm not Muslim or anything. But I just like the materials that they use to do head wraps. Because I'm natural and I'm in between my awkward stage and yeah so i will be showing you guys a tutorial this once again is from hijabs and stuff and that is their email and their facebook what is up bristers inc today i'm going to be doing my infamous turban tutorials we're going to be doing the king chanel you know nefertiti kind of head wrap um turban look and we're going to be doing this look with the side braids so stay tuned and watch and I will be, you know, getting into the video, like, now. <laughs> what is up, y'all? So, Bristers Inc., we are going to do my turban tutorial. Like, if you see my little scarf a little, my um, wave cap a little bumpy, it's because I just retwisted my hair. I told y'all earlier my hair was looking jank because I had just took some old twists down. And I refreshed my hair, took it out, retwisted it so that it could lay flat underneath my turbans and wig but it's the first day so you know the twist gonna be bumping up bumping up but at least your skin is not gonna be bumping up because we did the other little skincare video so this tutorial is how to do my infamous turban wraps i'm known for you know the pretty kingly queenly whatever you want to call it royalty looking head wraps and this is i'm gonna show you how to do it now this um the scarf that is featured in this video is from hijabs and stuff i am not muslim um i don't you know no shade to anybody that is muslim i just like the site because i do watch muslim youtubers on youtube which i enjoy their videos and how they tie their hijabs their turbans more so like you know my favorite one is neelam um she's a rapper uh she's muslim um, there's a few people that I like, but they do makeup tutorials too. So I look at that sort of stuff too. So I was watching, I think her name is, um, Shad or, you know, so she says sometimes they call her Shay. I think her last name is Battelle. She was, you know, talking about her jobs and stuff one time. Don't quote me on that, but I went to their site and looked for it. Their site is for like, you know, head wraps for Muslim girls. However, I'm not Muslim, but I did enjoy how the material was so luxurious and that sort of thing because it's hard to find materials to really wrap your hair really good that covers enough so my hair is short right now this is for if you don't have hair or whatever and you want that volume this is how to do the king chanel turban okay i'm gonna call it the king chanel turban you might want to call it the nubian goddess wrap the the nefertiti wrap whatever you want to call it but if you have like dreads or if you have like natural hair that you could put in a bun, this is where you would do that. This is a wave cap um, that I just bought from Walmart for like a dollar. Um, if you have a brother like how I do, he be having do-rags, wave caps, and all that type of stuff. So I have a jersey type of scarf. Do not mind that uh, stuff on the scarf. That is just from, you know, dye from the do-rag wrap. Okay, so... <laughs> this is hard on camera. So, at this point, you want a scarf like this to be 
the foundation. You could use black, but I don't really care, like, if it's shown. And then you take it like this, right, and tie it at the front. Do not tie it again because with this jersey material, you do not want it too tight, okay? So make sure you lay your baby, your baby hairs, your edges, and then look at what I'm going to do closely. So you twist like this. This, you could use a volumizer too. You could skip this step and just use a volumizer. But you want this little puff ball or whatever. You could choose to tuck it in there. I'm not going to do that today. But you can tuck it if you're, in the event your scarf. So it should look like a little shark fin, dinosaur fin. This is the particular crinkled scarf that I'm using from hijab and stuff to do this particular look, okay? This is a lot of material. I love that it's breathable because I don't like to wear wigs all the time. Um, I told y'all I'm on a health kick and I'm trying to figure out which side of the scarf. So what I do is the same, we're doing the same thing except for we're doing this. Same thing, right? Make sure your pieces is even. And you start from right here and you come. You move the little ball in there like that. This is a lot of material, so please stay with me. Okay? So, it's okay if it looks messy right now. So you just, any pieces that's coming all out and whatnot, just maneuver that ball around. Maneuver it. Any pieces that's not tucked, you tuck them. So this is what we're working with. Do not tie it in a, in a knot. Like, okay, so typically I like to twist, twist. And then come around the back and tie it again like we just tied it. Okay, so you see it forming already. Excuse me, I'm trying to move it to the middle. You see it forming already, right? So what I'm going to do, come over again. You see this? This piece right here tuck it underneath tuck that underneath and then you just see how you want it I don't want that over that because I don't like the look so I'm going to tuck through that right so it, it makes like an X-Men type of thing and then you're going to tuck through this right here so basically, you crisscross at the back, the front crisscross at the back. Okay, so now you're getting your shape. So once again, you tie it again in the back. And then you just find a place to tuck the scarf in on the sides. Find a place anywhere to tuck tuck as you need to see that little piece you just tuck and this is how you do a turban okay this could be tighter if you want to I just didn't want a headache right now because I just did my twist but this is how you do the turban look it's loose right now but trust me if I was to wear it it would not be loose like this okay but when I wear my queen wraps and they're tucked the way I want them to. They come out like this. So this is how you get the tall turban. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> um, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and then let me see if I tie it a little tighter. You can even hang it like, you know, some people like theirs hanging down in the back. I don't like that. So I just leave mine tucked. Find a space, tuck. Find a space, and you tuck. 
but this is the turban wrap style that I'm doing today. I definitely will be doing more turban wrap styles because I love these. Um, I do it with different types of prints. The scarf that I am using is from Hijab and Stuff, okay? Um, they have awesome prices awesome like scarves i got this with the back to school sale that they were doing it was so i mean y'all when i tell you this is so luxurious like when i'm in the car and i still want my hair to get air and sunlight this is perfect because it's so lightweight like the look at the color this is gray but it looks like a grayish blue i have my mauve one coming on the way and i also have brown like a, it's like a nice chocolate i also have like um a white scarf but the brown is crinkled print the mauve is crinkled print in this one i also will be getting the black very soon um and i just like this like i do a lot of different styles let me see if i can show y'all one different style that i like to do this is the queen's turban We are taking <laughs> the scarf down. So this next style, you don't need this. This next style because you don't you don't need that. So just make sure your scarf is flat. And it doesn't matter right now that it's bunching up. And like I said, follow me, y'all, because this is a lot of material. So you just need your scarf like this. Now, you need to act like you're making a braid. Pull the material through like so one time. Do it again. I like to do it like two to three times depending on how long the scarf is again and then we would bring it around like so and this is a style too that i like to wear so i do like turbans and you can choose to pin it some people even like you know kind of twist and bring it around and do it like that this is another style <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You know, shout out to Bristis Inc. and the fam. Shout out to the Brittany Chanel channel. And I'm out. Mwah.